Hello, my name is Rosalind, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We are rejoining Woodrow Lyles. Uh, we have spent a day off camera cooking, doing some other things that need to be done. Um, just getting ready to do go back out. Now, today we're going to be scavenging things that we need. But before we do, I'm going to attempt to do some repairs on my um, on my vehicle. Now, that's the potentially repairs 43%, potentially repairs 73%. The hood is zero. That brings it up to 78. Now, let's see. I can only uninstall the windshield. Hmm. Can't do anything for that. Uh, and the engine, the engine is pretty low. Repair engine requires mechanics five, and I'm only at mechanics four. So that is also not going to be good. I can't do anything with the right headlight. The left front door looks like I can't repair it either. So there's a limit to what I can do on repairing things here. But I did it. So I need a new windshield. The windshield is about gone on that. But we'll have to deal with that another time. We were able to repair the hood where I've hit a zombie here and there. Uh, don't intentionally hit zombies, but um, sometimes they don't get out of the way. And that definitely means that they end up getting hit. So I'm going to throw some of this stuff back in here. Uh, box of screws. I did grab a, a hand torch and a light bulb. I want to be able to do some things with that. Put the scrap metal back away, small sheets away, welding rods away. Oh, I picked up three worms. The other things I'm going to keep, let's go in here. And I, I did grab a battery. I don't really need the scrap electronics. Okay. But at least I don't think I need them. Now, before we head out and do too much, uh, we will be doing some fishing here sometime soon. But we're going to throw these worms over in here. I am going to plant some more uh, broccoli, cabbage, and carrots before I go. I'll grab those. I'll grab those. Grab all the carrots. Um, I've got plenty of cabbage at the moment, I think. But I'm going to plant. Let's see. Let's plant. I'm going to plant two broccolis. I'm planning, I'm ch trying to pick things that I think will grow in cold weather. So we'll put some cabbage there and there. And we're going to put some carrots here. And carrots here. So that's all I'm going to plant for now. Alright. I want to grab a bucket of water and water these things. So just doing some gardening. Next thing I'm going to do is go get some windows for the house. I need three windows for the house. I've got several houses around here that I can, uh, there's a whole bunch of things I can do around here. I'm going to drop 50 water on here. Dump 50 water on here. Uh, let's see. That seems to be all of that. I don't know how much is left in that, but let's see. Hey, wait a minute. There's some cabbage still there. How did that get there? It's not ready to be picked yet. Good to know that it's there, though, I guess. Let's see. Bucket of water. Every time I've done this recently, I've also used my the water in my water bottles for watering things, which is certainly not my intent. Let's see. Water 50. Yeah, that's using the bucket of the tainted water. I saw it that time. And we will drop that with 20 still in it. Don't need the water there. And the last one. We'll water the other two. And then head out. It's now just now 6 a.m. Woodrow has been getting very little sleep. Uh, I think that's the third straight night that I've only slept four hours. So he is not getting a lot of sleep. Alright, and we'll throw that down. All of that's watered now. 
All right, let's check on the generator. Okay, so this generator here is I'm gonna turn that generator on. And I'll turn that generator off. We will look at this. Fuel 100%, so we're good. Condition is good. All right, let's see a cigarette. Now last night when I was looking at this, I thought I had two cigarettes, but now when I look at it, I see that I have a total of 19 or something like that. I also was thought I had unloaded my ropes, but I only unloaded part of the ropes. So there's all my ropes unloaded. Okay, with that in the play now, let's, uh, there's absolutely no reason I can't take the window out of here. I don't want to remove that window. So let's see if I can pick up tiled window. We'll see what I get. Chance to break is 20. Means I got a pretty good chance of getting the window. Well, I had a pretty good chance, but that doesn't seem to make a much difference. This character. All right, let's go up here. Let's see what windows might be in here. There's no window in that room. There are some bathroom fixtures. There's a whole bunch of things. Let's see. We will try this again. Pick up red carpet. Pick up red carpet. Pick up tile window. I'm not going to pick up that. Let's see. It doesn't look like I can do the interior, the windows from inside. So getting second story windows is not going to be possible. So with that being the case, let's try this again down here. We will pick up. See, that's what was checkered tile. That's the tiered window. Well, I can do it from inside on the ground floor. Hmm. Maybe I need to put a shelf outside and try to do that. I don't know. We'll try. Mm -hmm. You are not giving me what I want. So that's two attempts with a 20% chance to break. And they have both broken. Chance to break 20. So my luck is holding. Even with seven carpentry, I tend to be breaking the windows. Either that or I'm, there's something I'm not understanding that's causing them to break. Well, maybe not. Maybe it is just bad luck. Okay, with that in place, a tiled window. Oh, that only weighs 10. Throw it in the bag. And we, somehow we're out of water. Imagine that. I was watering plants and I'm out of water. That's uh, pretty predictable all right let's see what else have I got let's see are there windows here Climb through. Now, we've got a counter here, and I don't really need that counter. We've got an oven. I'm going to try to use industrial items in my house. So I don't really need this. I'm going to leave that. There's other windows I can try to get. There is a window. Oh, see, there's there's one of those industrial fridge. I'm going to see if that industrial fridge is going to be workable. 
I'm hoping it will be. All right, my third attempt, or my fourth attempt here at the window. All right, I managed to get two windows. Tiled window. And that won't go in there, so okay. Let's see, I need one more for the house. Let's see if this will get it. So I'd like to have three windows. Well, I wouldn't like to have, I need three windows. That's what I'm gonna need. Then we're gonna check out that fridge. Very good, I do have my three windows, no? No, I'll have to carry the windows first because the uh, extremely heavy load. See, Woodrow is a beast. He can carry three windows at a time. I should be able to throw this in the in here. Oh, there's a couple planks left in there. How did that happen? Fascinating. I'm not sure how that happened, but we'll get rid of them. That refrigerator weighs about 40, so I don't know if I, I may have to put my bag down. All right, discomfort, something doesn't feel right. Yeah, it's the hernia in my back from picking up all three windows at a time, and carrying them off. So, all right, around here, let's get this industrial fridge. That will be the fridge that we need. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put the light bulb. Oh, I don't need the propane torch. I don't need the kitchen knife. Oh, I'm carrying around a bunch of seeds at the moment. We'll throw the battery in here. Okay, now then. Too heavy for inventory. Yeah, no surprise there. Drop the bag. Okay, now I should be able to grab it. Yes. And that'll be my industrial fridge. So this will give me a refrigerator. I'm, I will need a stove. I'm going to go over and see if I can't loot the... Uh, and we'll go over to some of the restaurants and see if I can't get an uh, industrial stove and some of that kind of stuff. So let's throw the fridge in the back here. Yeah, still got, still got room. All right, let's go get rid of... I've got to go back and get my bag, but let's get rid of all the seeds I'm carrying around. There's, don't need to be carrying all those seeds around. I had forgot to bring the seeds back over here. All right, none of that. The propane torch should have been put away over here as well. Put it in here. Okay, there we go. Now let's fill our bottles up. Fill empty bottle and the water bottle. I'm a little bit hungry and I am trying to eat every time I'm hungry. I still haven't managed to put on anyway. I'm finally gaining weight. Nice. That has been a long time coming. I will drink half of a bowl of soup. Need to get his weight back up to 80 if I can. So let's see that, um, yeah, stuffed. So next time I get a little bit hungry, I'll just get some more. See what we can do. All right, let's see. I've got a refrigerator. I'm gonna need a sink. I need a, I would like to have a microwave. I think there's a microwave in this house. I might as well go ahead and get the microwave out of this house. Uh, I need, oops, I keep wanting to go into that closet. That is not where I need to go. Let's see, we'll grab the large backpack. We will equip on our back. All right. And now let's come in here. There's a clothes washer and dryer. We will eventually want those, but we're not taking those right now. All right, white microwave. Let's see if we can grab that. Yeah, we can, nice, okay. Uh, back out of here. I think that's all I need, or all that's gonna be useful out of this house for the time being. I do want a stove, but I'd like to have a stainless steel cap with kind of the industrial theme and the other thing I'm doing. There is no stainless steel microwave or I would go get it. Believe me, I would go get it if I had it. So we'll throw this in here. 
Now I'm going to want to carry some garbage bags because I want to be able to build some. I don't want to have to scavenge garbage bags when I've got a whole pack of them over here somewhere in one of these trash cans. There, yeah, see, a hundred of them. So it takes... Not sure. I'm going to take 20 garbage bags. That'll be more than enough for what I need. Oh, uh, what else was I going to take? I don't remember. Honestly, don't remember. So I grabbed that, put that over here. Um, water bottle. I'll stick a water bottle back in here. Very good. Now I do have a few things to build a light stand out of. Everything else seems to be stuff I'm carrying with me. Okay, now then. Refrigerator, a microwave. I need a water cooler. Now I have a couple of extra water coolers here in the back. So we'll go around here. There's two over there. Already pre-grabbed for just such a thing as this. In here, we will grab this water cooler here. This water dispenser, I should say. Which is pretty much full. I can only carry one at a time due to the weight. So Woodrow has been preparing for a while, so he has a number of things that will be useful for the house. The only thing we really don't have available to us is the sink that we're, we'll have to scavenge out. Since we've got our windows, we can put them in. Um, and we do have to sec finish securing the area where things can't get in or at least can't get in as easily. Right now they can just fall through the fence. That's uh, an undesirable state of affairs. Let's see, water dispenser. Oh, and the water dispenser won't fit in there. Water dispenser is not gonna fit in there either. So what is in here taking up so much space? Ooh, I've got a gas can in there. I got some garbage bags. I can consolidate the garbage bags. I don't need the dirty rags at the moment. I will take the hinges and all that kind of stuff. Let's take the log. Oh, I can't take the log. So it's like gun case in there. We'll put the garbage bags in there with all the rest of them. Hmm. Well, where am I going to do with this? 30. Okay, now the water dispenser will fit. I still have to get some gas cans in there, and that's 1.6, that's 5. Okay, I can fill that gas can up. I don't have any gas cans there, so that's that'll be something that I need to do. I only have one seat in this car, so all the storage is in the back. That's going to about do it. I do need a sink. I can scavenge that from the other, from town where I'm going. So we're headed back. We've got things situated. Uh, let's grab a bag full of food. So we want to grab this bag. And uh, I guess the thing to do here is to take this and equip secondary. And here we want to then put in here a bowl of pasta. We've got two bowls of pasta, a bowl of soup, and a vegetable stir fry. And here we want a roast. We have two more vegetable stir fries. We will take the vegetable and black bean soup. Okay, that will be, I think, all that fits. And I'm going to take enough broccoli. I'll take two broccoli and a couple of cabbage, enough to make a salad. And a carrot. And where is a radish? I'm going to have radishes somewhere. Radish right there. All right, I'll put all that in there. That'll allow me to make another set of things. So I've got plenty of food in my bag now. Oop. So we, we're off. We will come back in two or three days within what we're doing, but we've got all of the set. I do need a, I don't think that's going to, that, I don't know if this, let's see, let's unequip and let's see if we can, if this duffel bag will fit 
it will not fit in that seat, but oh, it comes oh so close. So let's do this right here. Let's put the duffel bag, uh, duffel bag still won't fit. I'm going to get that duffel bag in that seat. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to re-equip it. Being as it's supposed to be food items. Let's come here. And I won't. I can't put anything else in it. Are you kidding me? It's that full. Okay, it is that full. So what we'll do is we'll throw this in here. This in here. Unequip duffel bag in the seat. Canned peaches in the seat. That's going to fill the seat up. All right. Now, let's go get rid of these dirty rags. I don't, well, I do need some of the rags because I'm going to build some more fencing items. So I tell you what we'll do is we'll throw them back here because they'll fit back here pretty easily. Um, uh, I have one cigarette here. Right. That's what it was in my bag. I guess this is where the two cigarettes were. All right. We are going to head back up to the other town. Going in the daylight for a change. Uh, I need to back up and give myself room to open the gates. I have learned my lesson on that one. There we go. We are back in the car. So on the way back into town the other day, we did see some random zombies here in Muldrow. We will stop and kill them. Uh, I guess there's still situations where we don't have uh, the zombies completely taken care of. That's... Uh, surprising given how many we have killed here in Muldrow but uh, they're still here they're still they're they're random there's a few they're not they're not any great numbers anywhere but there's a few so on the way out of town we'll stop and kill a few now we are eventually moving out of Muldrow so don't really know that we care too much about you know, a random zombie here or there but in the spirit and in keeping with what we have done before if it's a zombie in Muldrow it must die so we'll keep up with that. I'm pretty sure on the way in, I saw some zombies in a couple of places. So we're going down through here. We'll see what we found. With the sound of the car coming down the road should have pulled them over into the uh, over to the road. And as I say that, I'm not seeing any zombies. Uh, there was one of them. I knew there was one somewhere down through here as I came down through here. Well, I have my trusty crowbar out here. All right. And let's see. All right, we're now equipped two-handed instead of one-handed. Zoom back out, head back out of town. See, there's another zombie. Oh, and I saw one just jump over the fence. Didn't see anything else except him dive over the fence. Come fall over the fence again, and I'll, uh, I'll be happy to hit you in the head when you come across it. Let's see, that was a ranger jacket. And it's in pretty good condition. A box of shotgun shells. Hmm. Interesting. I have not fired a weapon in this game yet in this playthrough. We have been alive since July 9th. Or we've been in this playthrough since July 9th. So it's been over four months. Uh, guns are just not a big part of my... Oh, there's a zombie over there. Uh, oh, there's quite a few zombies over there. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go over here and introduce myself. I see four of you. Uh, 
All right, got you. Got you. And got you. And I heard something else, but I don't see anything else. So, there we go. So several zombies. Oh, well, there's another one. Oh, look at that. Out here on the road. Nothing like mistiming my attack. I have at least learned how to deal with the fact that I mistime it pretty frequently by attacking, you know, pushing them off if I fail to attack them properly the first time. So we're going down through here. This is the motel, and there's, boy, there's just more zombies over here. Where do all of you people come from? I would swear you should be dead by now. As many times as I've come down through here, I really don't see how we have random zombies still. The, um, I do wonder what the migration range is over a long period of time, over months of play. I wonder what the migration range is. We're down to half on our fuel, so we will, before we head out of town, we're going to stop and get some fuel. Right here. I see a zombie over there. I see three or four zombies. I see three. Let's take care of them. Oh, I see four zombies. Oh, more zombies than that. See, that's what I'm talking about. See how these zombies are down here. This is an entire pack. I really do not understand how this works. But that is okay. I guess we haven't done anything with this generator yet. I would have thought we had already done this, but it's not connected. Okay. And time to fuel the car. While I'm here, I'm going to get the gas can out and fill the gas can back up. And looks like I'm hungry too. We will open the canned beans. Now just because I'm slightly paranoid. We'll move around and check out what's around us. Well, how did you not manage to open that can of beans? That causes unhappiness. Hmm, interesting. We are going to litter and just throw that down. All right, we will grab the empty gas can. It's in the hiking bag. Nothing. We do have a random log in there too. We'll fill this up. And then we'll go turn our generator back off. So we're getting things situated here and then headed back to town here. Here's my gas can. So we have two full gas cans, a couple of knives that we can use. And turn the generator off. That is all she wrote. There is a zombie inside this building. Wearing a fireman's outfit. Where'd you come from? Don't even know, didn't even know there's a firehouse down here. Oh, there's junk food. Firefighter helmet, jacket, pants are in no good shape. The military boots are in good shape. I'm grabbing those. Okay. And let's see. Let's eat a plonky. Uh, 
and a sunflower seed. I don't know why I closed that one. There was a oh, there's an ice chest. That was one of the things I wanted for town. I can't carry that right now though because I don't have enough space in my truck. So, believe we will get back in the truck, crank it up, and head out of town. Now, if we see another truck of this type that has a windshield in it that's not busted, we probably should think about buying, getting, or stopping and swapping windshields. But that's if we see something. We're headed out of town. Once again, it is. There are some items down there on the that are out of the cars. I don't remember what they were. Okay. Obviously, parts for cars. I don't remember much else. Okay. Take care of you. There's another one down here. Wearing his overalls. Oh, he's got a pair of military boots on him, too. That are in good shape. And I need boots, so I'm grabbing the boots. We will throw them down somewhere else. I'll throw them in the back of the car. Could you possibly... I think this is going to be the... Well, I don't know if it's going to be... I say it's going to be the last one I kill. Honestly. This is... Uh, stopping to kill these zombies doesn't gives me something to do. I won't be doing anything else today anyway other than just traversing back into town. I see that zombie. I think we're going to drive for a while now. Here's another one. Here's two more. Well, no, there's a small pack. But quite a few here. Okay. Took him out. Take this one out. That zombie out and then get this zombie here. Take him and then run up here and get this one. No, there's another one in there. I didn't see him. Got this one. We will come back down here together. So we they've collected up and managed to gather up into some little small groups again. you at here you are okay that was just a small horde now, I, there's a lot of areas in there that I have not broken into yet I uh, I went through there and I think got into the things I could get into but there's a number of them that were closed I did not take the time to open them up so there's still things in there there's still lots of loot in that building yeah, I'm not stopping for one
So we have made it back to our safe house here, and we are going to hit. Part of what we need to do here is just drop our food in the refrigerator, and this will get us set up for tomorrow. So first thing we do, and we've already got some food in here, so the black bean soup, the vegetable roast, and the stir fries, at least all that'll fit, are going in here. The rest will go in the refrigerator to be eaten. It's going to be food for several days, which was the general idea of what I was trying to do. I also brought some stuff to make a salad. Um, there's the vegetable stir fry and that. Oh, I've got more vegetable stir fries. How many more do I have? Oh, that's all of them. And that fills up the uh, fills it up quite nicely. So now to the, to the refrigerator. Pasta, soup, and all the vegetables. Okay, so just come right over here and drop that bag. So it is 10.50. This is going to be the end of this particular episode. We have made it back to our base here where we're doing things. And our goal for at this point is to get started on building out what we need for our, our base to go back over and finish our house get all that stuff done we do we did bring some clothing items here we are going to drop some of them into these extra boots and stuff in here and we'll pick it up from here on our next episode so I um, want to thank you for watching if you're uh, enjoying the videos please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and take care